In this video, I'm going to demonstrate how to reverse score an item and create a composite mean variable in JASP. So this data um, is a data set I created. It has three items that supposedly measure the construct self-esteem. So what you need to know is that um, the first item and the third item are worded positively, so higher numbers mean more self-esteem, whereas item number two are coded or is a negatively worded item, so uh, higher numbers actually mean less self-esteem. So what we're going to eventually want to do is create a composite mean variable for all three of these, but before we can do that we need to first reverse score item two. So I'm going to show you how to do that in JASP. So um, to do that we're going to create a new column, so we're going to hit this uh, plus sign here, and then we need to give our column a name. So I'm going to call it self-esteem underscore two underscore r, letting me know that I'm reverse scoring the self-esteem two item. Here we can leave it as scale, and then we could just hit create column. So what you see here is a new column. But now we need to tell JASP what to do um, to compute this column. Notice that the cells are empty. So I'm going to show you a kind of a shortcut um, to, to how to do this. There might be other ways to do it, but this is something I've learned that um, I haven't seen it fail. Um, and I'll show you exactly why it works. So the other thing you need to keep in mind when you're going to reverse score is how many What's your scale? So these items were measured on one to five um, response scale. So once you know that five is the highest possible number, so that's the key piece of information, um, keep that in mind. So what we're going to do is we're going to go to the subtraction sign here on JASP, click it, and then notice that it's wanting at least two values here. So in the first value, we're going to click there, and then we're going to put in a 6, because 6 is one more than the highest number on the scale uh, for the item that we're measuring. So remember, it was 1 to 5. Because 5 is the highest, we're going to go one more than that, which is 6. Then in the second slot here, click on it, we're going to bring over self-esteem 2. Click it and then it comes over into this box. And that's all we do. So notice that this number is one more than the highest number on the response scale, minus, and then the item that we want to reverse score. Then we click the Compute Column variable or button, and then you could see that the variable is now populated in the data set. And just to confirm here um, how this works or why this works, notice that the person had a three Initially, now they have a 3 on the new variable. That makes sense, 6 minus 3, so they're, they're uh, in the middle of the response scale either way. Notice this person, though. They have a, f they have a 4 on the original item, um, but on the new one, they're a 2. So what was a 4 is now a 2, and that makes sense. And notice the person who was a 1, the bottom of the scale, on the new variable is now a 5, the top of the scale. So this just demonstrates that this um, formula here did what we wanted it to do. Okay, so now we have this reversed scored item. So now we can create a composite, a mean composite uh, variable for to create an average self-esteem variable in our data set. So we'll get rid of this by hit, hitting this X button over here, and we're going to want to create a new compute compute a new variable. So we'll hit this button again and I will just call this um, self-esteem composite. I like to be very descriptive with my variable names when possible. So we'll create column and again notice that we have a blank variable here and then we need to tell JASP what to do with this. Um, so this is kind of clunky, and I haven't found a, another way to do it, so maybe somebody else knows a better way, but this is what I know how to do so far. So um, we're going to um, just add these up and then divide by how many uh, variables we have. So, so we're going to click the addition button here. Actually, so let's see. We can do self-esteem 1, click it, shows up, plus self-esteem 3, remember we're not going to use a self-esteem 2 because that's the one that's going in the wrong direction, so we'll go self-esteem 3 plus, and it does these parentheses but just ignore them, um, they're a little confusing, 
plus self-esteem 2r, because that's the one we've reverse scored, okay? So now we have three variables, we wanna take the mean of these, so we need, we need to divide by three. So we take this um, division sign right here, divide by, click the button, click the dots, three. So that'll create, notice how the parentheses work out, so it's going to make sure to add up all of these um, before dividing by three, so it ends up working out, even though the, there's a lot of parentheses going on. So there's the formula, hit compute column, and there we go. We have a new mean composite variable in JASP using our reverse scored item.